Grain markets were mostly higher following today's monthly WASD report. At the close, December corn futures were three and one half cents higher, settling at 431. That extended gains for the week to 16 and three quarter cents. January soybean futures four cents higher, settling at 10.30 and one quarter. That was a whopping 37 and a quarter cents higher on the week. And on the wheat side, the December Chicago contract snuck out a penny gain to settle at 5.72 and one half, which put that contract four and a half cents higher for the week. Now today's WASD report, that was the big ticket item of the week, and as you probably guessed by closing prices, it was mostly friendly. The U.S. corn yield was at 183.1. That was about six-tenths of a bushel below the average analyst estimate. U.S. ending stocks for corn, that was reported at 1.938 billion bushels. That was also below the average estimate. Soybeans, that was where the big surprise was today, with the U.S. soybean yield coming in at 51.7 bushels per acre down from 53.1 in last month's report. Analysts attribute hot and dry weather at the end of the growing season as big factors in that reduction. Soybean ending stocks, they were reported at 470 million bushels. That was about 62 million bushels below the average guess. Now, prior to the WASDE report, there was a few flash sales, three flash sales, two separate ones for soybeans, totaling 239,000 metric tons, and that was split between China and unknown destinations. The other was for corn to the tune of about 200,000 metric tons for delivery to unknown destinations.